Hi, today we are discussing insulin signaling and diabetes. What are the consequences of high and low blood glucose level in our body? When blood glucose level is in high, it can damage the blood vessels, which can increase the risk of heart disease, kidney disease and vision problems. Low blood glucose level can lead to loss of consciousness and also lead to coma. How our body maintain a normal blood glucose level? Glucagon and insulin are the two hormones involved in maintaining a normal blood glucose level. Who is monitoring the level of glucose in blood circulation? It's pancreas. When blood glucose levels fall, the alpha cells of pancreas secrete glucagon. It breaks down glycogen into glucose. When glucose level rise after a carbohydrate rich meal, the beta cells of pancreas produce insulin. What is the function of insulin? Yeah, insulin informs the cells that glucose levels are high. And cells respond to this message. Which type of cells? Cells that express insulin receptors on their surface. Such as cells in the liver, skeletal muscle and fat cells. How cells respond to this message? By increasing glucose uptake and increasing glycogen synthesis. Insulin regulate both glucose metabolism and transcription and translation of specific genes needed for cell division. Insulin receptor. Insulin receptor is a receptor enzyme. It is a protein tyrosine kinase, PTK. You can see the picture of insulin receptor here. Each insulin receptor is composed of an alpha and beta chain. It's a dimer. The alpha chains, which is extracellular, it contains the insulin binding domain. And the beta chain is composed of an extracellular region, a single transmembrane region and an intracellular domain. The intracellular domain contains the protein kinase activity. The alpha and beta chains are linked together by disulfide bond. You can see it here. And two of these alpha and beta heterodimers, look, one side contain alpha and beta, other side also alpha and beta. These two help together by disulfide bond between the alpha chains. See the double bond there? When insulin binds to the receptor, and this is the receptor, and when the signal comes, that is insulin binds to receptor, the tyrosine kinase domain, where the tyrosine kinase domain present, it is in the intracellular domain of beta chain. When the insulin binds to receptor, the tyrosine kinase domain of beta chain come into close physical proximity, which lead to autotransphosphorylation and receptor activator. Let's watch the animation of insulin receptor activation. Now insulin receptor is in activated state. The insulin receptor binds to PTB domain of insulin receptor substrate. And insulin receptor substrate binds to proteins with SH2 domain. What is SH2 and PTB domain? Proteins contains domains that bind specifically to phosphorylated tyrosine residues. SH2 means SRC homology 2 and PTB means phosphotyrosine binding domain. Insulin receptor phosphorylates IRS1 on its tyrosine residue. And these phosphorylated tyrosine residues can serve as a binding site for other proteins, which are the an adapter protein that is GRB2 and a lipid kinase that is PI3K. A single receptor acting through IRS can trigger two or more signaling pathways. 
Insulin stimulates gene expression through GRB SOS RAS pathway and glycogen metabolism through PI3K PKB pathway. You can see the representation of these proteins in this picture. Insulin bound IRS activates RAS and PI3K pathway. Here, top one is RAS pathway. Here, GRB2 binds to phosphorylated tyrosine residues in IRS. GRB2 also contains a second protein binding domain, SH3, that binds to a proline rich region of SOS. SOS then binds to RAS. The RAS is a guanosine nucleotide binding protein. SOS catalyzes the replacement of bound GDP by GTP on RAS. That is, SOS causing GDP release and GTP binds to RAS. When GTP is bound to RAS, the RAS can activate RAS1. Next is the MAP kinase cascade in which each kinase activates NAS1. MAP kinase cascade we will discuss later. Now we can watch the animation of IRS activation and the signaling pathways. Coming to MAP kinase cascade, that is mitogen activated protein kinase cascade. What are mitogens? Mitogens are signals that act from outside the cell to induce mitosis and cell division. Three kinases involved in this cascade, RAF1, MEC and R, that form a cascade in which each kinase activates the next by phosphorylation. Let's study each of them. RAF activate MEC, MEC activate ERK, ERK activate transcription factors. Activation is by phosphorylation. ERK is an extracellular regulated kinase. It is known as MAP kinase, represented as MAPK. Who is activating ERK? MEC. MEC is activating ERK. MEC is known as mitogen activated ERK activating kinase. It is because ERK is activated by MEC. Hence, MEC is known as MAP kinase kinase, represented as MAP KK. Who is activating MEC? MEC is activated by RAF. RAF is a serine threonine protein kinase. So, RAF is known as MAP kinase kinase kinase, MAP KKK. And what is the function of ERK? ERK activate, that means phosphorylates transcription factor. Here, transcription factor is ELK, E-L-K. It stimulates transcription and translation of genes required for cell division. Let's talk about PI3K pathway. Here, you can see PI3K. PI3 kinase bind to tyrosine phosphorylated sites of IRS. The activated PI3K converts membrane lipid PIP2 into PIP3. That is, phosphatidyl inositol 4,5-bisphosphate is converted into phosphatidyl inositol 3,4,5-triphosphate by PI3K, resulting in the formation of PIP3. PIP3 is a phosphoenositide that serves as a second messenger in this pathway. PIP3 provide binding site for protein kinase B and PDK1. PKB is also known as AKT. The PDK1 phosphorylates and activate PKB. The phosphorylation by PDK1 is essential but it is not sufficient for the proper activation of PKB. The activation of PKB also depend on another kinase that is mTOR. mTOR also phosphorylates PKB. Once activated, this PKB dissociates from the plasma membrane and moves into cytosol and nucleus. 
This PKB directly involved in glucose transport and synthesis of glycogen. Now we can discuss glucose transport. The glucose transporter here, root 4, it carry out insulin dependent glucose transport from the blood. In the absence of insulin, root 4 is present in membrane vesicles in the cytoplasm of insulin responsive cells. You can see here, this root 4 is located within a vesicle in the cytoplasm. When the insulin level increases, a signal transmitted through the IRS, PI3K, PKB pathway, which triggers the translocation of cytoplasmic vesicles with GLUT4 to the cell periphery, where the vesicles fuse with the plasma membrane. We can call it as GLUT4 translocation, delivering the GLUT4 transporters to the cell surface, where this GLUT4 can mediate glucose uptake. One important point you should keep in mind is only the insulin receptor that stimulate GLUT4 translocation. After glucose uptake, what happens? Glycogen synthesis. Clear. You know that glycogen synthesis is carried out by glycogen synthase. Glycogen synthesis is controlled by negative regulation. Who is the negative regulator here? Glycogen synthase kinase 3, GSK3, is a negative regulator of glycogen synthase. That is, GSK3 phosphorylates and inactivate GS, glycogen synthase, inactivate glycogen synthase. Here, phosphorylation means inactivation. So, no glycogen synthesis. You understood? We studied that PKB is directly involved in glucose metabolism. That is glucose uptake and glycogen synthesis. There should be one to inactivate the GSK3 in order to begin glycogen synthesis. A signal is needed to inactivate GSK3. When the insulin level increases, a signal is transmitted through which pathway? We studied which pathway? Yeah, IRS, PI3K, PKB pathway. There, the function of PKB. The PKB can inactivate the GSK3 by phosphorylation of GSK3, which leads to decrease in GSK3 kinase activity. GSK decrease means there is no one to inactivate glycogen synthesis. No one to inactivate glycogen synthase, resulting increase in glycogen synthase activity. Glycogen is synthesized. Diabetes mellitus, it's very common. Two types, type 1 and type 2. About 5 to 10 percentage due to type 1 and remaining is due to type 2. About 95 percentage is due to type 2. Type 1 is due to inability to produce insulin. Which cell produces insulin? The beta cells of pancreas produce insulin. Here, Autoimmune destruction of beta cells is occurs. It is an autoimmune disorder. Due to that, the beta cells of pancreas destructed, so there is no production of insulin, resulting type 1 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is due to defect in insulin signaling. Now we studied everything about insulin signaling. So if any defect in any molecule or any pathway, it will result in type 2 diabetes. The type 2 diabetes is due to the result of changing lifestyle and eating habit. A high calorie diet combined with a sedentary lifestyle is lead to increase in insulin secretion. What happens? The increase in insulin secretion overstimulate target cells which lead to a condition known as insulin resistance, in which the target cells, the insulin responsive cells, stop responding to the presence of insulin. That is known as insulin resistance. The insulin resistance is due to defecting insulin receptor or any of the signaling pathway, mainly in IRS1, I3K, PKB signaling pathway. 
we studied IRS1, PI3K, PKB pathway is for glucose uptake and glycogen synthesis. For example, if PI3K activity decreases, what will happen? What is the function of PI3K? We studied PI3K convert PIP2 into PIP3 and resulting the activation of PKB. If PI3K activity decreases, that means PKB won't activate. What's the function of PKB? PKB involved in glucose transport and also in glycogen synthesis. If PKB won't activate, so the GLUT4 vesicles won't go and bind to the membrane. No glucose uptake, resulting type 2 diabetics. Type 2 diabetes is due to insulin resistance. So, insulin sensitizer agent can be used for the treatment of type 2 diabetes. For example, drugs, metformin, thiazolidine dions, etc. Then, flavonoids, those are plant compounds that can be also used for the reversal of insulin resistance. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this, please like subscribe and share you can also comment below on which topic you needed for coming classes